Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is um, Story News Center. It's a weekly podcast that's what's going around around AM Story. And enjoy. I am Larry Adisa with Story News Center. Hmm? Oh. Story News Center News and Events. There's going to be a Princess Ball at Washington Early Childhood Center. It will start from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on February 10th for parents who send students to Washington School. Computers for education. Every card sent in it gives the school one dollar. There will be tutorial all week for, s- for students who need help in different subjects. On February 23rd, academic open house, and on February 10th, that will be opening of the Valentine Show. February 13th, jump over for heart will begin. On February 17th and on the 20th, there is no school because of staff development day. On the 10th, there will be 4th and 5th grade parties for Valentine's. There will also be reading and science tests. The start party will start from 2 o'clock to the end of school. Report cards will be given on the 24th. On the 16th, the 4th, 6th wings will end. Welcome to Story News Center interview segment. My name is Madeline. My name is Goldie. Hello, my name is Alexis. The interviews are in this segment are Miss Titlow and Miss Jenkins. Now to the interviews. Okay, hello Miss Jenkins. Me and Madeline are just going to be asking a few questions for an interview. The first question is, do you feel comfortable as uh, with your job as a registrar? I do feel comfortable. Yes, I do. And um, besides a registrar, any other job in the school, which one would you choose and why? I would love to be a school counselor, I think, because I do love talking to my kids. They all feel like my kids. So, yeah, I think I'd like to be a counselor. That's good. Does it ever get confusing as being a registrar? Every day. Every day I'm confused. And do you feel like you're treated equally? Oh, yeah. I feel very appreciated. I'm very lucky to have this job and all all my co-workers, and I I do love my job. And do you get any breaks? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I get... I don't have to stay behind closed doors all the time. I get up when I when I need a break. Uh, I get lunch, of course. I can take a break any time I want to. Mm-hmm. And when does your job start and when does it finish? My day starts at 7.45 and officially it ends at 3.45, but I don't usually leave here at 3.45. Like get all your work done. Yeah, yeah, I like to stay late when it's quiet and the phone's not ringing. And have you ever messed up before as a registrar? Oh, yes. <laughs> All the time because it's new and I'm always learning, but there's always people I call and ask. And if I mess up, I just admit that I messed up. And I tell, I call, make a telephone call and say, I messed up. And and it's always okay. As long as you, as long as you admit when you messed up and correct it, you go on and you learn from it. I just feel like it's a learning experience. And whenever you're a registrar, um, is it like a job of truth? Like, do you have to speak, like, like you messed up, you have to say, oh, I messed up, I'm sorry. Is it just like a job of truth? Well, I think so, because as a registrar, I, I'm bound by the, uh, the laws of Texas. There are attendance laws, there are registration laws, and so, yes, if I messed up where I, where it, it was against the law, which I don't think I've done that, but, yeah, I would definitely need to admit it. Okay, and what's your favorite book? Pride and Prejudice by Jane Eyre because I love that time in history. I love the the, the manners that they had. I love the, um, I love there was no TVs. I love there was no technology that they would take walks during the afternoon. Uh, I just I just love that part of history. So anything Pride and Prejudice or anything by Jane Eyre. And do you enjoy your job? I love my job. I do. I've, I've had several jobs in the school district, I've, but I've been a secretary, now I'm a registrar. Um, I love my job. I do. I love working with kids. And would there be anything you would like to say? Oh, uh, that I think that you girls are doing a great job. I think this is a great program, and, um, and I'm going to look forward to seeing y'all graduate in how many years? <laughs> in a few years y'all will be seniors. And I'll be watching. I'll still be I'll still be watching y'all.
Thank you, Miss Jenkins. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank y'all. Y'all did a great job. Recording. Okay, Miss Titlow, so how do you feel about the voice level in, in the library? Well, sometimes I would prefer that it be a little bit quieter in here. But most students follow the rules and keep it at, say, a level one. And are there any tips that you could give us on how to finish your book faster? Yes. Um, the school requires that you read every, from 20 to 30 minutes every night. However, it's okay to go over that 20 or 30 minutes. If it's a book you really like, read it for an hour. But just don't read it in your bedroom after the lights are off with a flashlight because mom and dad might get mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who has the top AR? Uh, right now, Lacey Wilson is number one. And how much points does she have? She has like 310 points. Oh, wow. Good job yes. for her. Yes. And who's broken the record? Um, the record was broken by uh, the Sheely boy. What was his first? I can't think of his first name right now. Mm -hmm. The oldest Sheely boy. Uh, and he had over 600 points. Wow. But Ian Nicholson is very close. He had 600 last year. And what are the rewards? Well, for every hundred uh, points that a student accumulates, they get a t-shirt. Now this year we have some students that have already gotten over 200 points that had the same shirts last year. So we're going to order different shirts. We're going to order some really neat polos. Okay. Okay. And what's your favorite book? My favorite book is probably Silent to the Bone. It's a wonderful book about a a young boy that's accused of a crime that he doesn't commit. And is it in this library? It is in this library. I recommend everybody read that book. And how do you feel about the way that the students should treat the computers in here? Well, um, today I don't feel very good about it. There are some things on those computers that shouldn't be there and I can't seem to get them off. So today I'm not real happy. Normally it's perfect. Normally they do real well with them. And are you comfortable with this job? Oh, I love this job. Yes, I'm very comfortable. And if, if you could have any job in this school besides the library, what would it be? Well, if I had a musical talent and ability, I might like Miss Bell's job. Okay. I love to hear the children sing. So I do, okay. I would like that. Well, let's thank Miss Titlow for being a wonderful librarian. We thank those women for dedicating their time for the interview. Now to lunch updates and random stuff with Malik Brooks and Cass. One. Go. Hello, my crazies. I'm Malik Abzi and I'll be your host today for the random and lunch updates. We don't have that much random stuff today, mostly lunch, but it'll be better next time. Um, this Friday we have house-made pepperoni pizza with toss salad and applesauce or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Next Monday we have chicken nuggets with freshly break, baked rolls, oven fries and seasoned carrots or ham and cheese sandwich. Uh, next Tuesday we have home-style meatballs with, so with Parmesan sauce, mashed potatoes, seasoned whole grain, freshly baked rolls, or Santa Fe turkey cheese wrap. Next Wednesday we have chicken parmesan with seasoned whole grain spaghetti, freshly baked breadsticks, seasoned stucchini, fresh orange or chicken salad on whole wheat bread. And next Thursday we have chicken fajitas, charro beans, fiesta rice, or peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, I'm Malik and uh, the last part was pretty boring but that's all the time we have so. Bye. Welcome to SNC. I'm Lacey Wilson. And we are your sports, weather, and entertainment host. We're going to start out with the sports. Brantley. First off, we want to mention Tuesday's soccer game. Palestine played Henderson. The game tied at 0-0. Zero zero. Now for the upcoming games. There is a basketball game that this Friday. It is in Madisonville at 5 o'clock and another one against Westwood on Tuesday. Also at 5 o'clock. Moving on to weather with Lacey. Thank you, Brantley. I want to start out with the weather for this weekend. Saturday we'll be expecting thunderstorms leading into a little bit of clouds and rain on Sunday. 
pretty much the, all the weekdays are going to be partly cloudy, mostly cloudy, you know. And it's going to be a perfect week for movies. So here's Brantley with the schedule. Now playing in the theaters, extremely loud and incredibly close, rated PG-13 and 129 minutes long. Then we have Joyful Noise, rated PG-13 and 118 minutes long. Now we have the coming soon movies. We have Big Miracle, rated PG and 107 minutes long. We also have Journey 2, Mysterious Island, in 3D, rated PG and 107 minutes, 198 minutes long. Then we have Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Minutes, in 3D, rated PG and 136 minutes long. That is your sports weather entertainment for today. Thank you for watching. All right. This has been my class, Lamb's Gifted Goobers, for the 2011-2012 school year, doing our very first podcast. I guarantee you things will get better. At least they better get better, right, group? Yeah! Okay. Yes. See you next week with a whole new podcast and a whole new set of information. Thanks. See you next week. Bye. Bye.